Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover the position pitchers should be in during the linear drive phase of the pitching delivery. Specifically, we're going to focus in on the hinge position and how we should utilize this position to our advantage during the linear drive phase portion of the delivery. So first off, what are the different components of the hinge? I like to teach my players that there are really three different aspects of utilizing the hinge or the back leg properly during the linear drive phase. First is the vertical loading of the hinge, which refers to the up and down positioning of the player into their back leg. Second is the horizontal loading of the hinge, meaning the side to side weight distribution of the player during the linear drive phase. And last but not least is the rotational load portion of the hinge, which is ultimately how the player loads into their back leg rotationally to optimize potential rotational energy transfer up the kinetic chain. So let's go ahead and break down these three different aspects of riding the hinge down the slope in depth. Alright guys, so first let's look at the vertical load portion of the hinge. This portion of the hinge again is the up and down loading of the back leg and glute and is just one of the three main components of the hinge. The way I usually assess players vertical load is by analyzing the degree of knee flexion the players in during the linear drive phase. I've analyzed a large data set of major league pitchers and what I've discovered is that the range in which major leaguers degree of knee flexion is is between 95 and 137 degrees with the average degree of knee flexion being at 115 degrees. As you can see this is a pretty broad range and reason being is that each pitcher's hip anatomy is different and therefore different players drop into different depths when loading their hinge vertically. When assessing my players I like to first ensure that they are within this range and second I like to ensure that whatever vertical load depth my player is in during the linear drive phase is a depth in which the player can effectively rotate out of into front foot strike. Remember the main purpose of riding the hinge down the slope is to maximize linear drive force production and promote rotational efficiency with the lower half into front foot strike. Next, let's take a look at the horizontal load portion of the hinge mechanic. The horizontal load portion of the hinge refers to the player's weight distribution laterally while the player is driving towards their intended throwing target during the linear drive phase. When it comes to the horizontal load portion of the hinge mechanic, we want to observe that the player's head is staying behind their center line during the drive phase. This ensures that the pitcher's weight is over the back leg as the player rides the hinge down the slope, which will maximize the amount of energy that can be generated laterally while ensuring the pitcher is in a good position to rotate the pelvis out of as they begin their lower half rotational move into front foot strike. When looking at player's horizontal load, I like to first draw a 90 degree line from the center of the player's pelvis all the way through their torso. This line remains the constant during my analysis. Second, I draw a line from the center of the player's pelvis up through their torso and head. This is the variable during my analysis, and from my analysis of pros, the range in which pros are horizontally loading into the hinge, excluding the two outliers shown on your screen, is between 70 and 79 degrees, with the average angle of horizontal load being 75 degrees. The horizontal load component of the hinge is very critical as it allows the player the ability to maintain control of the back leg and pelvis so that the player can sequence and optimize the rotational move into front foot strike after the linear drive phase is complete. Next, let's look at the third and final portion of the hinge mechanic, the rotational load component. The rotational load component is the degree of pelvic counter rotation the pitcher maintains during the drive phase. The way I like to explain this component to my players is that the player should be rotating the belt buckle over the femur of the back leg during the drive phase. By doing this, the pitcher will store back leg tension, which prevents the pelvis from leaking prematurely and will maximize the rotational range in which the pelvis can rotate into front foot strike, which allows the pelvis extra time to speed up as the player rotates with the lower half. This component of the hinge is absolutely critical to maximizing hip shoulder separation and the overall effectiveness of the disassociation of the lower half from the upper half during the delivery. In conclusion, the pitcher's job during the linear drive phase is to effectively maintain all three components of the hinge until the point they begin to rotate with the lower half into front foot strike. By doing so, the pitcher is maximizing the utilization of the lower half during their delivery. As always, thank you for watching. To view additional pitching instructional videos, please subscribe to our channel or follow us on Instagram. Have a good one.